Hello folks, Richard Johnson and welcome to your truck sim. Um, I was thinking why not start up with this new year with uh, a new game. Or, well, you have seen some footage from this game before and, and this game is not new but for this channel it's quite new. Um, just was thinking of casually do doing a delivery while chatting with you guys and girls out there about stuff that has happened and stuff that is going to happen and all that. And just like briefing or just getting back into the seat. So uh, get yourself a hot cup of coffee or tea or whatever you prefer or and uh, sit back, relax and enjoy this trip that we're going to do and uh, just follow on and if you have something that you would like to comment on or if you have any questions or so just post them in the comment sections below and I will try to take a look at them. But first I have something that I would like to show you guys girls. It's quite rare and fun thing <laughs> in this game if you are using uh, mods. Right, um, I'm starting at, I think it's Tremere or Tremerai, uh, and I have th this mod installed, as you can see there. Oversized load, this is a house or a cabin that I am gonna transport somewhere. And the first major thing that you have to think of, or and, and yeah, you have to be prepared is that this load is <laughs> wide, it's very wide, and uh, you, if you start up in this location here, you are gonna have some problems with that <laughs> exit and entrance. <laughs> um, you can try to use full speed and try to ram or squeeze your way through, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. What you have to do is call for emergency help and get spawned outside at a repair station with your truck and cargo. So yeah, that was it that I was going to show you. Do not do this by yourself. <laughs> so yeah, that was it one that I was going to show you. Um, before we start this journey, a little fun thing there that happened to me during the, how to say, winter break, the Christmas New Year break. And I sincerely hope that you all have had a wonderful Christmas uh, with lots of cheer and joy and uh, extremely happy new year with lots of rockets and booze <laughs> and tasty food um, what you have here is a Scania Streamline top line uh, it's the biggest Scania version that I can have so far since I'm only level 24 um, but what I do have is go to company truck dealing that I do have a maxed out Volvo FH and I have a mod PW379 and I was going to I was thinking of why not using this truck it's not super fast but uh, it's quite relaxing to drive but uh, it's used by Matthew one of my like minions <laughs> one of the workers at my company and uh, my Volvo is used by Yvonne so uh, I was thinking of changing so that Matthew was going to use my s new Scania and I were going to take the Peterbilt, Peterbilt and then we'll take a truck from or I mean a cargo from somewhere to somewhere and just have a re relaxing uh, drive so well, let's see drive it oh wait I'm apparently delivering Christmas <laughs> gift <laughs> to from London to Rostock how long do I have left? Alright, I'm over here. I've just left London. Rostock is all the way over there. Hmm, alright. Why, I mean, why not? Why not just continue with the current deal that I'm doing? I mean, I haven't dri driven that very far. So, yeah, let's continue with my delivering Christmas gifts. Julklappar in Swedish. So let's see, drive, and hopefully the audio won't be too loud. <coughs> right, nice trailer there, suits my truck quite well. Oh yeah, V8. Just gonna switch 
switch over to the off the road there so don't disturb anyone. but maybe the recording is better yeah it was a little bit too loud <laughs> let's see there we don't need that right now during the day you can turn those off um, so let's just continue with our delivery since we are in UK, we're driving on the left side, which I don't like. <laughs> because in UK, compared to Sweden, everything is on the opposite. In Sweden, you have to give away, or you have the rights to yeah, give away, or what's the name for it, to everyone that comes from your right side. Except in roundabouts, there you have to give away for everyone in the roundabout. But in here, everything is on the opposite, so you have to give away for everything and everyone on your left. <coughs> Makes you a little bit squashy in the head. And if you want to overtake someone, you drive on the right side, not on the left, as you do in Sweden. Him there, he did the wrong thing. He overtook me, or maybe undertake me. I don't know the correct term for it. On my left. So, uh, yeah, new, new year, winter year, winter year. I mean, new year, winter break. Idiots in this game. The AI needs some polishing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have no idea what you all have been doing during the winter break or winter New Year holidays, but uh, please share with uh, share it uh, with me and everyone else in the comment section below, and uh, I would be more than gladly to like take part in what you have done to. Celebrate. Maybe you have done something very special, or you have uh, done something very weird. <laughs> Maybe you have uh, done something like everybody else does, but in a new way. Or Maybe you haven't done anything at all. Just post that in the comment section below, and uh, I will be more than happy to read them and take a look at them. Uh, myself, I have been celebrating uh, a birthday, I have been celebrating a uh, new year with uh, lots of families at one location and uh, I have been celebrating Little Christmas, as we call it in Sweden where we are gathered, where our family is gathering at a uh, like childhood friends, family, I don't know the correct term, but a uh, family that we have been knowing for at least m entire my entire life, but I um, don't know how long my parents have known them, but they have known each other for a very long time, and day before Christmas we always gather together, and uh, one year we are our place and one year we are at their place and then we just uh, exchange gifts and eat food and just have a merry little Christmas <laughs> at each other's together right we are going to Europort in uh, the Netherlands I think it is <coughs> the map Rotterdam Amsterdam yep and the Netherlands or Holland prefer which you prefer to use it's up to you <coughs> if you're playing this game on uh, multiplayer server 
this port is crowded. <laughs> there can be extremely long queues here from the port along this road to the right here all the way oh that was some bad bad shadows all the way out to this road and as far as you can see with your naked eye from here along that road it's extremely crowded two lanes and all of them is filled in both directions but yeah that was the day before christmas during christmas or christmas uh, eve as we is we we celebrate on the 24th and not the 25th so on christmas eve we uh, in our family more or less that in the morning we uh, everyone has got a got a tiny gift or a little how to say cheaper a little maybe a, just like a comic book and you know, a normal book or something like that and a little bag, bag of candy perhaps and uh, later on then we have uh, uh, the traditional so to say uh, Christmas table with food with that every, every different kind of food and fish and meat and dish and all that and uh, then we have uh, uh, the traditional so to say Swedish way of watching television <laughs> yeah, we are watching Donald Duck and uh, loads and loads of more different and like fa so to say famous Chippendales Pluto Mickey Mouse and all that uh, Christmas specials or Christmas episodes of famous TV shows so and uh, cartoons and episodes and all that. And then after that, we are eating a uh, Christmas meal, uh, oatmeal, you know, the Christmas uh, that white with uh, cinnamon and uh, sugar and uh, yeah, you know, oatmeal, but the Christmas version, the rice version, version or something like that. Is he gonna overtake? Uh, after that, we are gathering around the, not maybe around the Christmas uh, Christmas tree, but at the table near the Christmas tree and like cracking some nuts, uh, um, talking, maybe playing playing with a deck of card there, and uh, then exchanging gifts, sitting, relaxing, and all that, and. Uh, Oh look at that, the Peterbilt hauling logs and uh, just having a great time then after that it's more, <laughs> more or less so say free time everyone can do whatever they want and some are just using uh, the gift, some are maybe uh, watching a movie on the TV because they're always around Christmas some special movies that comes every year or a new movie that they are showing or hosting or just around Christmas time and all that and Sometimes uh, my mother and I am f I'm just following her to keep her comf uh, like company. But sometimes we're going to the she's going to the church there around midnight, the midnight supper I think it's called, and uh, I'm just following her as company. It's a quite pleasant evening there, a pleasant night in the church with that atmosphere, the chorus or the songs that they're singing and so many candles are lit up, it's quite nice and uh, after that it's just straight home, go to bed and the next days that are following are just normal days until uh, New Year that that day then we are celebrating a one of the, the, one of the kids, oh wait, well he's 25 now <laughs> but uh, his uh, birthday on one of those in the family that we are celebrating Little Christmas with one of the kids there in the family that's 25 now we are celebrating his birthday because he's born on 31st of December celebrating his Christmas uh, his birthday I mean and on the day then on the evening the night there we are gathering our family with uh, roughly around three to five other families uh, 
that have like a kind of commun uh, company that they are we, we, we are more or less um, we are doing stuff together uh, during the summer and all that and that led to why not do or celebrate New Year together so each year we are at one of those families in this group's home and uh, celebrate New Year and uh, that's just like everybody's New Year we presume good food, good company all that and uh, then go outside. Um, if someone has some fireworks with them, they can fire those off. I, otherwise, we're just standing there in in the towns and all that, watching other people's firework and wishing ev everybody a happy new year. And uh, go back inside. Uh, maybe have some games. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> kind of it. Um, other from that, uh, I don't think I have done anything particularly ex exciting or special, uh, except that we have been driving go kart, and I should have won if I didn't have been like tackled outside the track there, the go kart track, inside uh, by the one that was in second place of me. We were four drivers driving around in a like a trail or train of uh, go-karts and he a little bit did a little tackle to me so I was pushed off the, um, the road there a little bit to the side into the barrier or the wall and then th they could t overtake me or drive past me and on this little track it's nearly impossible to overtake anyone if you are in the final because everyone is really really good they're driving fast they are driving their kind of the correct way, correct way to take t take the turns and the bends and all that so we, it was nearly impossible to overtake one so I was kind of locked there in third position you just had to follow the the, the company around the track the those two three final laps and then it was over so yeah, that was extremely fun. The <laughs> first time ever I've driven in go karts. And uh, if you have actually driven go karts or something like that, just comment in the sections below. If you have a video of it, just upload it and give me a link. Or uh, if you have s another way of sharing it with me or the community, just do so. Because it's really fun to do. And we all said that when one of the others in the company has is uh, his age is twenty. We are celebrating his twenty fifth birthday. We were going to do the same thing, but on a, a on a other track. It's a little bigger, longer, and wider, and all that. So it's faster and more easier to overtake and all that. But yeah, other from that, there is only one more thing. One of my childhood friends, uh, William that uh, his father is American and his mother is Swedish. Uh, he lives more or less the whole year in the United States of America, but he is currently studying in the Asia, I don't know which country it is, but he's st studying in one country and learning a language from one of the other countries. Yeah, logic. <laughs> Uh, he was coming over now during the winter break, the winter uh, holiday, and uh, we were meeting, having a good laugh, watching the new Hobbit movie and all that, and uh, just having a pleasant winter together. And uh, that was really fun to see uh, see an old panel of, like there once on every year. So uh, it's always fun. Uh, but yeah, that's much pretty. That's pretty much it that I have done, except playing games, of course. But not recording anything because I didn't want to have this pressure on, like that you have to perform where very well and all that every time that you are recording. Because you don't want to watch a bad game or a boring game. You want to have something exciting, something funny, something extremely particular or something weird in it when you're watching. You don't just want to watch. A player flying around, getting crits, getting killed, and that's it. So it's actually very hard to 
do the things that I and many others are doing, getting materials and commenting those materials. But yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible. <laughs> but yeah, that is more or less basically everything that I've done. Pretty much, hey? <laughs> but I have uh, gotten uh, three new games. Uh, one of them I'm not gonna show you because I don't think that you're particularly interested in it's Skyrim. It's not new but I bought it over Steam and I played it quite much. And the second game is Rus or R U S E. Uh, it's spelled R dot U dot S dot E but I think it's pronounced Rus. Uh, it's a real time st strategy gaming a game from where you are kind of a command or general or something that you are commanding troops and uh, tanks and uh, aircraft and all that in real time and more or less like a board game it, it feels like a board game you are like overwatching the battlefield you have uh, your troops and all that buildings stationed out and then you have to command them to different positions and then you have like a how big of a chance is it for my troops to defeat and win on these? And then you have to do different strategies, build different buildings. Uh, if someone is attacking with tanks, then you have to defend with anti tank guns and all that. So it's a really fun real time strategy game from during the World War II era. It's uh, r.u.s.e. Ruse. Uh, check that up on Steam, it was on a sale during the winter of sale, like every game <laughs> on Steam was, but uh, I can post it in the comment sections below in the video when I'm uh, uploading it, because I'm of course gonna do a gameplay of it, since it's a war title and war, war genre and it's strategy and uh, it's quite fun, it's quite uh, hard also, it's much to think and handle at the same time. Um, the third game is a game that I have posted before, but a new version or different version of it. It's Microsoft Flight Simulator X, but Steam ed edition, so it won't crash as often now <laughs> as it did before for me, and you can now play much, much easier multiplayer. Earlier, you had to like direct connect with the IPs to different private server, private servers, and all that during uh, the internet, but now there is a Steam community uh, connection multiplayer session sort of that uh, everyone can just host their own at w and it will be shown to everyone in the list there. So that's a big plus and uh, don't know how it's going to be with updates and so on, but hopefully it will be updated and tuned and tweaked and all that so it will perform and be better than previous one, but uh, if not, it doesn't matter because it is still better than the previous one, because uh, the previous one that, I ha that you have is kind of tricky to get some good recording materials and it's sometimes actually crashing kind of often. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was um, those three games, those new three games that I've gotten, and two of those I'm going to show you. Some Skyrim gameplay that's not so well. Some people might think it's interesting, but um, I'm having troubles thinking it, it, it can be. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, those two games are coming uh, sooner and be you can yeah you will know that you will have videos of it uh, other from that I have been uh, working my way up the American tech tree in ground targets so ground forces in War Thunder a little bit so I have the Lee I have I have every rank 1 tank and I am soon having the rank 2 medium uh, Sherman the first Sherman there with the, the Small caliber gun, not the Howard's one. I mean the one uh, that has rank what's three point something. And I have no idea. But the first Sherman in the line. 
Um, I have the G10. Uh, I don't know if I show you it. I have not like um, traveled uh, traveled my way up the tech trees for different nations in anything else. I think uh, I am soon getting my first Panther in the Germans. Uh, but that's probably much it. It's taking forever to get somewhere in uh, Wathan if you're not using premium accounts because. Well, you can see that other YouTubers, uh, other players, gamers, and whatever, uh, that some of just spamming gold and money into this game to get fast up the tech trees and uh, or be able to get good materials and good things, new things to show everyone. But since <laughs> I don't want to waste my savings in a video game so much just to get new things, uh, it's going to take for more time. <laughs> Let's say like this, you're going to see more videos of the same tanks than from others perhaps before you get a new one. But I mean, who, ca who cares? At least it's good materials and it's fun materials. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of uh, buying a uh, Röder, I, I have no idea idea how to pronounce it because it's Danish but road road road, road I think you're pronouncing it from English as a road podcaster uh, stereoscopic uh, stereos and uh, I have no idea how I <laughs> want this but it's a road podcaster USB mic and uh, I'm going to sooner or later get that with a mic stand and all that to get a better quality version of the microphone because now I'm only using the headset mic that you have on my headset so it's it's decent but it could be a little bit better it, it uh, has a f flaws due to when you're using different letters like P T S and uh, uh, words that are S and P that are like pounding like P T and uh, words that are S -ish it sounds weird and it, it can sometimes sound loud and the audio files or audio samples will, will go up and down, up and down and it will be not behaving as it should when you're using my just a simple mic microphone or a simple mic that you have on your headset. Um, so going to, sooner or later, get one of uh, one of those uh, road podcasters and I will have a break. <laughs> yes, we have already have a break, and I'm already planning to have a new one. But uh, I have booked a travel to Egypt with uh, three friends, and uh, it's going to be on the 26th of no January. I mean, of November, January, where we are going to Egypt for a week, and I will then be back on the 2nd of February. So uh, ju I will try to produce many videos and try to, as I did when I was in Stockholm, uh, publish them from there. So you can will have materials when I'm not home, so to say. But uh, that will demand even more time for me than it, it's taking normally to do a normal week, so to say. So uh, then I will have to produce double amounts, and it. Won't the quality of it might be worse because you then it just quantity and not quality. But who knows? Maybe we will have the luck of having extremely awesome and fantastic games during those videos. But now you know a week from uh, the 26th towards the 2nd of February that I will not be home, and uh, but I will try to po upload and post videos for you when I'm uh, down there in Egypt and laying on the beach and sipping a pina colada. No, that's <laughs> not going to be the drink that I'm choosing. Uh, I will of course try to take lots of lots of pictures and uh, if you're interesting, post them for you so you will have uh, like, you'll be able to take part of a little be a piece of trip there so you can see what how Egypt is and uh, what's been happening over there. Um, but yeah, that is 
probably everything that I have now that I can think of. Um, I have told you how my break has been, um, how uh, what's going to happen, what games I'm I'm going to do uh, flight simulator, ruse, um, world of tanks, war thunder, all that in the time uh, I have up ahead. I was thinking now of doing some Empire of the War, the Road to Independence, because I'm not done with that. I have not played that game for ages, it feels like. Um, that, uh, it's not, it doesn't feel as like it's uh, my biggest priority since it didn't attract many of you viewers. And it didn't uh, have nearly any views at all, all that series. Some videos had and some didn't. But, um, so I'm keeping that on ice f for the moment. I mean, if I have like uh, don't have enough materials to upload or something, then of course I will continue with it because it's more or less like a backup plan. But uh, yeah, it will be uploaded, but not as a priority one. Um, yeah, now you know why uh, I haven't uh, done uh, any. Empire to the war videos because it didn't like give anything. I mean, I upload a video, but then nothing happens. So uh, gonna keep it on ice for now. Um, let's see how long do we have left? I have no idea how long we're driven. Oh, we're driven quite kind of quite far. We don't have that far left to Rostock. Um, we have to take an exit, then exit again. And then the second exit into Rostock. Alright, let's see if we can speed things up here now and drive a little bit faster. Uh, I think it's due to this truck has a V8 that uh, you need higher levels to get the big engines. Since I think it's only Scania that uses V8s, uh, Volvo uses V6, and uh, Renault, Iveco, Man, and uh, all. Uh, all that Mercedes and uh, I have no idea what kind of engines they use but my brother who is a uh, trucker he, he is out from Monday to Friday driving a uh, truck, and car, truck and trailer uh, but he's not driving this version he's driving the versions that we don't have in this game you know we have a uh, truck with a container on and then it has a trailer with a container on, so it is like uh, twice the amount of cargo, if you uh, know what I mean. It, it's not a... Uh, ah, yeah, you, you get the deal. <laughs> I can't describe it in fair without maybe posting a picture inside the video here showing you what I meant. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, I think he said that scanning is the only one using V8, maybe that was only compared to Volvo's or all truck brands uh, in Europe, uh, but I have no idea, I'm not so sh sure if that's true, but anyhow, it's mean it's a V8, It's you can hear it, you, you could hear it when I start up the engine, it's giving some quite punch, and if it is true, then perhaps that's the way why you need higher levels to get the high horsepower uh, engines compared to the Volvos, Volvos in this game, where I already have the biggest engine. Compared to this one, I think I have to be level 27 perhaps to get the biggest engine, 28, I'm not so sure. I'm now level 24, I think, maybe I will level up when I deliver this cargo, perhaps, perhaps not. But let's see that in a moment when we get there. We, uh, we, I mean, <laughs> I have disengaged the speed limiter to 90 there directly when I install the game because it's, well, you get the more uh, re realism feeling when you're only driving 90, but I mean, uh, sometimes it's just extremely boring driving around in 80, 90 uh, when you can be driving around in 120, 150 like I'm doing now, and but you're, who the fuck would do that? <laughs> <laughs> Driving around 150 kilometers an hour with a uh, what do I have with uh, 22 tons of 
cargo plus uh, the trailer. Uh, maybe the trailer is counted in, I don't know, but that, um, this just swing around on the road, overtaking everybody. But uh, that is uh, the reason why I used to, uh, or I chose to disengage the speed limiter because we, you can get there much, much faster and sometimes if you get behind the truck and you uh, are a lorry in this game and you he's like driving in 80, 90 and something like that and you are also driving 80, 90, you are prob having problems to overtake them sometimes and if you're driving on a uh, a single lane road in one direction then uh, uh, a narrow road where, where, with the uh, bends that you can't see through and all that you really want to have the speed limiter off so we, you can overtake him much much faster uh, so you don't are like limit to one speed all the time be behind him if he's driving 70 kph on a 90 road and you are on a single lane road and you're just driving behind him all the time and you can't get uh, past him because it's uphill as it's bent to uh, too narrow bends it's Uncommon traffic and all that. You really want to have the speed limit off so you can excel uh, or speed up and then uh, overtake him much, much faster. And then you can drive around perhaps in your 90s kilometers an hour and get there much, much faster. But one thing that you have to keep in mind is that as now I have to release the throttle, pull back, brake a little bit, and get down to 80, 83, 80, maximum is 85 because that was a speed camera and the maximum speed that you are allowed to drive with a truck with cargo on is 80 but if you don't have anything on I think it's 90 or 100 not so sure uh, certain different in different nations I think or maybe in Europe uh, it's the same for everyone gonna use engine brakes wait for the American truck uh, simulator. I mean, this is your truck sim. I can't wait for the American truck sim to get out when you're driving in these huge Peterbilts, Kenworth and all that around in fast or the huge uh, United States. I mean, uh, it feels like it's Europe is big and it takes forever to get anywhere like when you're driving from France to uh, Poland perhaps, or from the northern Scotland to uh, southern of it Italy. Well, now you can't do that in this game if you don't have mods, but you can do it, it feels like it takes forever, but imagine doing it in uh, that, that other game. I mean, across the entire United States. That would be some really long and awesome drive taking a huge huge oversized load on a uh, two lane uh, across the desert all alone <laughs> during the night lit, extremely lit up trailer and uh, truck that would be some really fantastic sceneries and uh, things to see um, I have noticed that lots of people that are playing this game don't know how to reverse and uh, if you can reverse with a car and a uh, uh, car and uh, trailer, a uh, car and yeah, you know, car and wagon. I don't know the correct word for the thing that you connect after the car, but yeah, car, uh, car and trailer. If you can do that, then, it, then it's the same thing in this game. If you want a trailer, or uh, if you want a trailer to go to the left, then you steer to the right. So I want to do like that. The truck would go, you can see here, if I'm doing maximum to the right, you can see what's going to happen. There. Maximum to the right. That's maximum to the left. So you want to do is just, okay, I want to go to the left with the trailer, then I go 
turn right on the wheel. It's not that hard. I mean, come on. So let's see here. Okay, we're a little bit off. We want the trail now to go left, but you can see that it's going left, but I don't want it to go too much left. So I'm like following it with the wheel to to a little bit of a way that when it is kind of lined up the trailer, that my truck is not too uh, how to say twisted. Okay, we're well, a little bit sideways. Let's just drive forward. Sometimes it, it, the best thing you can do is just drive really far or f f uh, further forward to line up very prob properly, and then just do the same thing over. You can use the mirrors. You can uh, use the third view. You can. Uh, where is it? There it is. You can use this view, and now it's the same thing. Now it's the opposite thing. If you want the trailer to go to right, you th you turn, you move your mouse to right, or you use the you know key pads, your W A S D there. If you use them, I didn't use my mouse. It's much more easier to follow the road than using your A and B if you don't have a steering wheel. Let's see. Let's. Take that up. And there. There. Now we are parked. So let's press T. Excellent. See, and you get a little bonus for parking the trailer. Champion. <laughs> Do I have any skills that can level up? No, don't have anyone. Um, but yeah, that was our little trip. Um, it might took a little bit longer than I expected, but yeah, the first video of the year, New Year. Let's make it a little bit longer, especially. So. Uh, that was it and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this gameplay and this video and maybe you have gotten some questions answered yeah maybe I di well I didn't tell many lots of things that might have been questions but maybe if you would have somewhere in the future asked me what I did on my Christmas day uh, Christmas Eve uh, or New Year then I can tell you watch this video <laughs> But yeah, uh, future videos will be coming and uh, they will contain Ruse, they will contain Microsoft Flight Simulator, they will contain World of Tanks, War Thunder and perhaps some other games that I have just qu just right now forgotten to <laughs> forgotten but uh, more in the videos that will be following. But uh, that was it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to support my work, share it with your friends and neighbors and all that, and uh, I see you guys and girls in the next video for that I make. But till that time, take care and channel, and bye bye then. <laughs>